Today we are back with a home series on the Council Line map. We have two jobs to complete today. We will be using a 2019 Ram 3500 coming to haul a 35 foot yacht from a dealership to the mechanic shop. Next up we will be using the truck with the enclosed trailer to transport a Ford Mustang from a dealership over to the new owner's house. Before we head on out here to start these jobs, let's take a full walk around on our truck. This is a 2019 Ram 3500 Crew Cab Dually. We do have the Cummins motor and it is fully optioned out just over $90,000. Color match bumpers, chrome grill. This thing looks pretty sweet. We do have power uh, running boards and a lot of cool options which we'll be using throughout the day. I'm excited to be back here with a hauling series and I have been trying to do one of these videos every week and we will be switching it up and using trucks just like these to do uh, unique jobs. Up first, we'll be heading over to the dealership to transport the boat to the mechanic shop. Uh, the owner brought it over here, and it needs a lot more work than the dealer mechanics, so they are bringing it to a diesel mechanic shop. If you'd like to see more hauling videos here on the channel, drop a like and let me know down below. Luckily, getting to the first uh, hauling location pickup was pretty easy, and there it is. So it's a 30-foot uh, gooseneck trailer. The boat's a little bit bigger, 35-foot yacht, and boats look a lot bigger out of water, as you guys can see. So we'll get the tailgate dropped. I do want to do a full light check and just make sure everything's secured on the uh, trailer as well. This Ram 3500 is one of my new favorite trucks in Farming Simulator. This thing just looks so great and it, uh, it does a great job. So we'll put the uh, tailgate up there. Up next, we'll fold out the uh, tow mirrors and we'll do a light check. Oh, feel the weight on the uh, Ram already. Looks like all the lights do work. Looks like it is strapped down pretty secure. And up uh, last, we'll just kind of check it now. More than likely, uh, everything does work. But I really do wish the turn signals were a lot bigger, especially with a trailer and uh, load this big and wide. It definitely needs some bigger ones. But it looks like everything's good to go. Now, it is probably three, four miles down the road, but it will be a heavy haul here for us. And that we, we definitely want to just kind of be careful of. Now I really do enjoy this hauling series here in FS19. Like I have touched upon, I definitely want to do more unique hauls just like these using pickup trucks and PJ trailers uh, to do different loads, haul skid steers, farm equipment, and unique ones like this. Now this is a big boat, 35 foot yacht, and this I would say is upwards of a million uh, plus dollars. So it's a very expensive one, and we do have to have pretty good insurance uh, to even be able to uh, get attached to a trailer like this. I really do like this Ram with the uh, fold out tow mirrors. So much cool options and some of them we will be using today, some of them we won't, but this thing looks awesome. Now I think it would be pretty cool to kind of start a transport series, maybe have a few guys come in multiplayer, act as customers as we pick up different uh, items or even kind of help out and we do like a 2-3 truck convoy. Now we have made it over here to the mechanic shop. It wasn't too far. The dealership just didn't have any vehicle that was able to tow it. And the ones that they uh, did use were out doing other jobs. And they want it backed in here. So we'll get it uh, parked up in between the two lifts. Now this Ram does have a 2 inch leveling kit on it with the stock wheels and tires. I think some aftermarket wheels and maybe a color match front end would look pretty cool. I do like the color match but I also do like the chrome grills. I think that's just a neat feature. Luckily we did not have to pull any permits to uh, tow this. Sometimes you have to get permits uh, for big trailers like this but we didn't have to today. We'll put the tailgate down and get it disconnected. And that's it for the first job. 
So the second job is moving a uh, 2018 Mustang GT from the Ford dealership to the owner's new house. They do live a few towns over and, t and with temperatures in uh, the 30-35 degrees, he, ju he just doesn't want to take the new sports car uh, out driving and, he and the tires have to be in uh, warm weather anyway, so that's kind of good that he hired us. Usually if you do buy a vehicle maybe out of state a few hundred miles from your house, you will hire a company to kind of ship it to your house. And that is what he has decided to do today. We do get to use a brand new low trail trailer. It's a 30 uh, foot enclosed trailer. This was back in uh, 17 and it was converted over. Now I also believe this was in uh, 15 as well. It is a tandem axle and uh, it's a great wide trailer. It's, I believe, 10 and a half feet wide on the inside. We'll do a quick light check, making sure everything works. Perfect. We'll head on over to the Ford dealership. I would like to thank all of you guys for the continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby, great passion of mine. You guys have been amazing uh, supporters. Now for these hauling videos I do feature them as the second video of the day. More than likely as they do become more and more popular we will kind of transition them maybe uh, to be the only video that goes up that day. Now this Ram you guys can see towing this trailer has been pretty nice. These tow mirrors uh, are very very helpful. I really do like that feature of them folding out. And we have arrived here. I can actually see the Mustang out front. Now, where do we get loaded up? I would much prefer to get loaded up inside the parking lot. And let's just uh, see if there's room. If not, we'll have to kind of back out. It's a lot easier. We could take our time and won't have cars kind of rushing by. But we'll definitely be blocking the parking lot for a few minutes. We'll put the uh, ramp down here. Just want to check the trail, making sure everything's good to go inside with the straps. Now inside here we do have a toolbox and some gas tanks and a, a few other things. But everything looks to be good and we do have the uh, strap points all ready to go. Here it is, a 2018 Mustang GT yellow with a black stripe. Pretty unique color. Uh, they do have uh, quite a few yellow ones and uh, it does take a certain buyer to buy a color of this. We'll get it turned on and we will have to kind of wash the front end. It seems to be a bit low and uh, it is a sports car so we'll have to take it a bit uh, careful making sure we don't scrape the front end. Looks like we got it all lined up here. We'll just kind of slowly crawl up and looks like no scraping problems which is great. Awesome, so we'll put it right about there. Now, as you guys can see on the inside, having the wheel wells on the inside means that the walls are a little bit wider, and that helps out with getting in and out of the car. So we got it all strapped down. We'll put the ramp up, and let's head on out. Now, I do believe we could kind of go out this back way and uh, go out on the main road. Now as you guys can see that is a pretty cool feature. We do have a working uh, sun visor there. Haven't seen that on any trucks and that is awesome. We'll slowly creep up here. This is a pretty big bump. Now I think it would be pretty cool to get some pickup trucks and gooseneck trailers in American Truck Simulator. I'm currently working on getting the game worked out a few hours and I think we'll be back to featuring American Truck Simulator videos on the channel mid-December. That's the game plan there and we should be well on track to do that. I want to wait just a little bit in these next few weeks. We'll be pretty busy with school but other Today we did have two pretty cool setups, getting to use this truck here with that big yacht and its gooseneck trailer and now this 30 foot trailer. I do much prefer gooseneck trailers so I might look into converting a few of the gooseneck enclosed trailers that I did release back in FS17. Uh, 
we will still be featuring FS17 videos here on the channel. Still really do enjoy that game and all the different mods and cool things it offers that 19 yet does not offer. This Ram truck, every time I look at it, just looks so sweet. Any color, any uh, options, color match, anything like that, it just uh, stands out so great. Now I definitely want to feature some real life uh, car videos, some Mustangs, some cool things like that here on the channel. Maybe even some videos watching the 2018 Gover X. Let me know if you would like to see some of those videos. Now this Ram is pretty good at uh, uh, at speeds with the enclosed trailer and with that uh, yacht trailer. It seems to just manage heavy trailers pretty well. We have arrived here in that town and I really do like the county line map. It's a great uh, map uh, to not only farm on but to do videos like this. And we should be coming up pretty soon on the house. Now this Mustang GT that we are hauling is roughly forty to forty-five thousand dollars. Mustangs have gone up in price quite a lot, and this one just looks so so cool. So I think it's the next few houses we'll just kind of have to keep our eyes open. And it is this one there. It looks like the uh, car is in the driveway, and actually no, it's this one up here, the uh, blue one in the driveway. He did say. Uh, that actually matches it. It's kind of hard to find it uh, when you are just given the uh, address, but we'll put the uh, ramp down and we'll get it unloaded. Perfect, so we got the uh, Mustang unloaded here, we'll put it in front of the garage. Now this, uh, he did say, was going to be garage kept uh, the entire winter. It's just too cold right now to be driving the cars, and we are actually getting snow later on this week. So good thing he just had us uh, kind of get it shipped for him. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's hauling video. It's been a busy day here for us, getting to do two jobs. And we also got to use a 2019 Ram 3500. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for an next one, and subscribe for more. Thank you.